Look at this guy, he's a smart zombie, has fireworks and the elytra, he's ready to go boost up into the wild. That's crazy! Stacking spawners in Minecraft has never been easier with the Epic Spawners plugin, and that is what I'm going to be showcasing for today's plugin showcase. It is a premium plugin that you guys can download on the Sangata website, and uh, it has a ton of features such as upgradable spawners, stacking spawners, has its own spawner shop, uh, includes silk touching where you can players can mine them, and it just makes a, a very lagless system for your Minecraft server. So I highly recommend this plugin for factions or skyblock or even survival as well. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started the main command is slash es and that stands for epic spawners and so you can give uh players uh you can boost specific players and the amount uh you can go into the editor settings uh reload and change the spawner that you're looking at so let's go into the settings uh first off and just see what we can change because there's a ton of features i'm not going to go over every single thing but there is a lot you can do so you have the option to change the config the spawners that one ml and even have a blacklist so the config has a whole bunch of different settings and this is everything that you can find in the configuration file and you can do it all in game in the GUI. So you have your main section right here and so there's a ton of different uh, things and if you wanted to change something so as you see it says sneak to receive a stack spawner which is set to true so we can go ahead and change that default or true however you want it. So it's really nice that you can come in and change it and you convert them with eggs uh, if you want that true or false. So there's a ton of different uh, things that you can change in game. Then you have the spawners.yml and here's all the different spawners that you can customize and change. So here's like the shulker one. So there's a whole bunch of different things that you can change in here. And then you also have a GUI editor if you don't want to mess around with this either. Uh, but there's, uh, there's just so many things that you can change and it's really nice that you can change them all in game uh, inside the GUI which is super helpful. So uh, let's go ahead and open the spawner shop and you can do that with a slash spawner shop. So within the spawner shop is where you can buy various spawners and all the spawners are listed on here as long as is, uh, you have them enabled uh, by default all of them are enabled so even the little B ones uh, from 1.15 are enabled which is pretty cool so if we go ahead and just uh, we can go ahead and buy one so let's go ahead and buy this intermittent spawner so if we go ahead and click on it as you see we can go ahead and buy it we can add one we can set it to 64 we can add 10 and the buyable price is a thousand this is all uh, customizable and changeable so let's go ahead and just buy an intermittent spawner if we go ahead and place it down as you see it does uh, change it gives you a nice hologram above the spawner as well as place that specific mob in the cage and you can see what it is. So if we go ahead and right click on it, it tells you uh, you can convert it and you can see the stats. So currently uh, it, it only spawns on air or whatever like block that you put it on and then it is paused because there's no darkness. So if we go ahead and set it to night, as you see that pause uh, should go away and there we go, it has paused. And then we can upgrade it with XP or you can upgrade it with economy and you can change all these prices and then there's even a boost as well. So if we go ahead and click the boost, uh, you can boost it up for like 10, uh, 5 minutes, 15, 30, and 60 minutes for an hour and that costs uh, different diamonds. So if we go ahead and give myself some diamonds and if we go to the boost, uh, we can go ahead and boost it for like 15 minutes. So now if we look at the boost, as you see, it is adding one extra enderman to every spawn and that gives you a time of when it expires. And then we can boost it up with XP levels or we can boost it up with economy. And then over here is some useful information and uh, it's pretty cool because if you uh, kill 100 natural enderman uh, will give you an enderman spawner which is a pretty cool and a custom drop feature that is in included so now as you see uh, there is six entities around the spawner so it is paused now it went away and now there's a whole bunch of endermans all around the spawners which is pretty funny so there we go we just got some more uh, endermen spawned and let's see how many it spawned so it is spawned 12 so far and then with our boost it is uh, adding one extra one which is pretty awesome so uh, if you want to stack specific spawners you can so uh, say we want a, a spawner right next to it, but we don't want it to be stacked, you can just place it there. Uh, if you want something to be stacked with that spawner, all you have to do is right click on that on the spawner with whatever spawner that you're holding. So if you go ahead and click it, as you see, this one has just upgraded. So we can go ahead and break this one. And now we have the broke the enderman spawner, and then we can go ahead and place it right there and it is upgraded to five, and it is now maxed out. So now we have completely maxed out our enderman spawner, which is uh, pretty cool. And there's a ton of enderman that has spawned. So if we hover over, as you see there, it is spawned 19 so far. So it is working very well. So say we want to add uh, multiple
multiple entities to a specific spawner and you can with this plugin which is pretty insane so if we go back uh, we can go back to the spawner shop real quick so say we want to add a blaze so we'll go ahead and buy a blaze spawner and then uh, you can also do the command slash es and then you can give a specific player so we can uh, give uh, es give and then you can give all or uh, everyone on the server or a specific player so I'm gonna give myself and then you can go ahead and give a specific one so let's go ahead and do like a fox and the amount uh, so we'll go ahead and give a three and then you can even set a specific level or you can just have it one so say uh, we want a, a level tier three level spawner so we can go ahead and set that down so here's the level three uh, fox spawner and so uh, that is a pretty cool uh, that you can go ahead and give tier spawners already so for example let's go ahead and place this blaze spawner down and I went ahead and give myself just a normal fox spawner so we'll go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and add this fox spawner to this blaze spawner as well so if we go ahead and click it as you see it does change into an omni spawner so now if we go ahead and click it and go over the stats as you see it does say we have a fox spawner and a blaze spawner so mo more multiple of these can spawn so say we want to have like uh, this a uh, tier 3 uh, uh, fox spawner as well we can go ahead and combine that that will combine it into level 5 so now if we hover over it as you see we have a four times or a, a tier four fox spawner and a level one blaze spawner so that is crazy that you can combine all these different types of mobs so say we can have like five different mobs all tier run into one spawner so let's go ahead and do that so let's go into the spawner shop buy a pig one so we'll go ahead and add that and then let's go ahead and buy enderman so we'll go ahead and buy that one and then we can buy like a wither <laughs> that's kind of crazy so we can buy the wither one and then we can buy like a magma cube and then and we'll buy one more uh, let's go to the next page uh, let's go ahead and buy just the beast mod all right so as you see, we have a blaze, a wither, a magma cube, bee, and a pig zombie or a zombie pigman. So let's go ahead and go over here and we can start placing them uh, down. So we have uh, the blaze spawner, which is level one, and then we can combine it with a wither. We can combine it with a magma cube, a bee, and a pig zombie. So now if we go ahead and right click on it, uh, as you see, it gives you the list. It kind of goes out of the screen, but you get the idea where it has all five of these all combined, which is insane. And we can go ahead and boost this up as well. So uh, we got... Uh, 34 diamonds so we can go ahead and we'll do this 15 minute boost and as you see the boost has been applied so now uh if we go ahead and right click on it as you see there we oh no look at that that's crazy that's super loud as well but it's kind of destroying everything but as you see it does work so let me go ahead and kill all these mobs uh, let me go ahead and break this spawner real quick and we'll there we go we go ahead and bro broke it because that was kind of insane but you get the picture of where you can combine and edit uh all these different types of mobs into a uh, Omni spawner and that just is it, like your custom one. Be sure to check out this video sponsor Sangata. Sangata is a new and unique marketplace where you can find free or paid custom plugins. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is continuously working towards making those ideas a reality. Visit the Sangata marketplace and discord with the links below. So I went ahead and gave myself a parrot spawner and we're going to be customizing uh, the drops and we're going to be customizing everything with this parrot spawner. So to do that we can do uh, ES editor and this brings up your GUI where you can edit all the different types of mobs uh, and the spawners within that. So we're going to go to the next page and we're going to go ahead and click on the parrot spawner. So over here you can change the names and display names of the spawners or you can just enable and disable it. So you have general settings, drop settings, uh, entity settings, particles, commands, item, and block settings. So if we go to the general settings, here is where you can uh, have it if you want it upgradable or not. Uh, right here is where you can set it on fire. So that is helpful for factions or skyblock servers uh, where you can set uh, like cows or pigs on fire. Uh, just to make everything run a little bit better. Here is the GUI shop. So this is in the spawner shop where you can change. And uh, if you want it to be in the shop, uh, if you want that to be true or false. And you also have the goal, so this is where if you like kill the 100 or so mobs, then you can get the custom uh, drop, uh, so that is a nice feature as well. And then you also have a pickup cost, and then uh, tick rate, so you can change all of this in the settings right here, which is really nice. And then over here, uh, this is probably like all my different types of favorite settings. So we have drop settings. So this is sort of like custom drops, uh, so if you want, uh, when you kill a parrot, then uh, you can get a custom drop. So say we want to, we'll do a custom drop of uh, golden apple and uh, we'll do like a, a 
uh, I don't know, three eggs, right? So we'll do three eggs. So we can go ahead and save that. So that is when we kill a parrot. And then say we want uh, entity setting. So if you want to put another entity in here, you can just go ahead and click add the entity and that will add it to uh, the spawner. Uh, we also have uh, block setting. So if you want uh, blocks to be spawned as well. So I'm go ahead and put a melon block in here just to show you guys uh, what it will do. Uh, so that is a really cool feature that you can change block settings. And then my favorite is item settings. So this is, uh, will spawn items with the parrot. So we can go ahead and put in like uh, eggs and we'll put in the diamonds for this will also spawn with the parrots. <laughs> so you can change all those things and you can also change the particle effects. Right now it's just like the current uh, smoke and fire. And then if you want to change the performance, you can do normal, excessive, mad, light or normal. So I'm going ahead and keep it the normal. And then we also have command settings. So go ahead and add a command. So say we want to add a whole bunch of, uh, I don't know, money, uh, or you can also add uh, specific coordinates, or you can add the world name, or you can add the person who placed the spawner. So there's a whole bunch of awesome, really cool things, and you don't need to include the slash. So let's go ahead and do like ECO give, and then we'll give the player, uh, we'll give like $5 or something, right? So we'll go ahead and uh, do that. Let's go ahead and save that. So that's all the things that you can customize with this parrot spawner. As you see, the eggs and the diamonds are already spawning, and there is the melon right there as well. So as you see, it does spawn the blocks. It gives you the custom items. So let me go ahead and clear my inventory, and let's go ahead and actually uh, upgrade this bad boy all the way up to five, just like so. And uh, let's see what happens uh, when we spawn it. And there we go. <laughs> I just got 20 diamonds and uh, 10 eggs, and as you see, I got a whole bunch of money as well. So it spawned all in the melons around and it spawn all the the parrots as well so another really awesome feature is that you can create and customize your own custom spawners uh, right here so we can go ahead and click new spawner and here you can customize whatever spawner so uh, you can left click to change the name or right click uh, to change the display name so that is like above the the holograms is what you can change. I'm going to leave it right here just to make it easier. So this one I want specifically to be items. So I'm going to ahead and place elytras. Uh, we're going to place that splash potion of resistance and fireworks. So that is going to be sort of like a item item spawner instead of like a mob spawner. And then yeah, we can go ahead and give a, a custom command as well. So we can do like uh, create key plugin. You can do like create give, and then you can give like the player one or something. So uh, this command won't work because I don't have any uh, create uh, plugins on here. But anyway. Is that's an example of what you can do. Now to get that, you can even go into the spawner shop, and as you see here is a custom one, so we can go ahead and buy it. So let's go ahead and buy the custom spawner. So we go ahead and place it down. As you see, uh, it has the egg in there. And there we go. As you see, it gives us the elytra right here that we can put on the carved pumpkin and the splash potion of uh, uh, fire resistance. So that is working really, really well, and there we go. It just spawns more. So that is uh, an example of where you can make your own custom item spawner. So you can customize everything with this plugin which is insane and I really really like it so that is uh, that is sort of the showcase of epic spawners a ton that you can do with this plugin I highly recommend it you guys will not be disappointed with all the customization and features with epic spawners so make sure you guys go check it out link is down in the description hope you guys enjoyed my video leave a like down below I will see you guys in the next video peace out